even among people who are speaking the same language, we find major discrepancies in how gender is expressed in these two dialects. And this is not because of physiology. This is really because of behavior. This is, we hear, you know, how voices are spoken around us and we imitate that. I'm currently working on creating a course called Masculinizing Your Voice Without Testosterone. And it's got me thinking a lot about the difference between physiology and behavior. So a lot of people who want a more masculine voice think that the only way to get that is through taking testosterone. We know that testosterone has a masculinizing effect on the physiology of the voice. But I really want to read you this quote from Voice and Communication Therapy for the Transgender slash Gender Diverse Client. And it says, even if two speakers identify as the same gender, are of the same height, and speak the same language, i.e. their physiology would predict near identical resonance systems, the two speakers are able to agentively shape their respective resonance systems in a manner that reflects other facets of their identity, such as ethnicity or sexuality. So there have been a lot of studies, um, specifically the work of Keith Johnson from 2006 and 2007, that finds that no two cultures express gender the same way. And that doesn't mean that people have different physiologies across cultures. I mean, maybe to a certain extent, but even among people who are speaking the same language, like for instance, New Zealand English versus Californian English, we find major discrepancies in how gender is expressed in these two dialects. And this is not because of physiology. This is really because of behavior. This is, we hear, you know, how voices are spoken around us and we imitate that. So all this to say, I'm making this course because I believe that there are lots of ways to modify your behavior to masculinize your voice, even if you're not able to take testosterone for any reason. Like maybe you can't get it without your parents' permission and your parents aren't giving that to you, or you can't take it for medical reasons, or you don't want to take it because you don't want the effects of testosterone except for the voice effects. I get that. There's lots of reasons to take testosterone or not to take it. It's extremely personal. But even those people who take testosterone sometimes want to do voice masculinization because the behavior of the voice has such a major impact on the perceived gender of the voice, sometimes even bigger than that of physiology. So anyway, I just wanted to share these quotes with you because I think it's really important that we talk about the different ways that the voice is masculinized. Testosterone is not the end-all be-all, although I, it's obviously very important for a lot of people, but there are lots of options when it comes to masculinizing your voice. I hope this helped.